crisp as red. A S M. Hello. I'm here, and as you can see, you're looking at chickens, and these are my chickens. I have four of them. been requested for a long time that I film them because when chickens are getting ready for bed they make really sweet sounds and they potter around about five o'clock in the evening and I've just come in to give them a little bit of corn like so they like to have a little snack So the white chicken, her name is Eglantine, and she's named after Angela Lunsbury's character in Bedknobs and Broomsticks. And the other girls do have names. I've forgotten them. <laughs> I think it's because they're quite rubbish and uh, I didn't really think of any more really good names for them so if you think if you can think of any cool names for the black lady over there and the grey lady me know and I shall rechristen them. I'm sure they'll be happy. I think one of them was called Eggy or something really silly like that. So the pen that the girls live in now is new. They used to be on the other side of the garden and um, they've been in a video before. It was very early on when I first started making ASMR videos. And um, that was them in their old pen which was falling to pieces. So, um, I have a dad who's 
very handy and uh, he offered to make this one and it's very sturdy it has a roof on it halfway as well for some shelter they're really happy in here their coop is about I think two and a bit years old um, so it could do with a spruce up so maybe in the summer I'll give it another paint and a, a really good brush up. So you can see that water hanging down. It used to be standing on the floor but they enjoy um, drinking from it at this height. And through the back there you can see their food and they eat layers pellets you might notice that there's kind of a um, strange looking spike sticking out of the ground just by where the black chicken and um, that's where, usually at the weekend, when I've been shopping, I will um, buy them a cabbage and I'll stick it on the spike and they eat it really quickly. also like to eat other kitchen scraps as well. They are allowed out of their little um, enclosure here. I let them out into the garden to eat the grass sometimes. And they enjoy that. They're so funny, especially in the summer, and they're always talking to each other and rolling around in the wood chips. They're very happy. It's really nice this time in the evening because the birds are all singing. are chatting to each other and it's slowly getting darker and darker and if you listen very very carefully you can hear there is rain very very light rain Glentine is very bossy. She likes to organise everybody. And there is always one chicken, chicken hanging around, <laughs> just pottering about outside the coop while everyone else is getting ready for bed. Always, every day.
Who's having another look? They do like to be picked up as well, which is quite nice. If you look just in between the water and the feed, on the side of the coop is a little bowl, and uh, it has some grit in there, and the grit is made up of tiny stones and shell they eat it and it helps to form the shell of the eggs they lay. They're very good at laying eggs <laughs> and uh, they're also very noisy <laughs> when they lay their eggs. I'm not surprised. Quite early in the morning they sing their chicken Sometimes I worry if the neighbours are going to get annoyed. <laughs> it's getting darker now. And it gets dark very really sweet noises. Like little squeaky noises. The birds are still singing. You can hear aeroplanes as well and cars. People travelling home. mess around with the straw. Once I've put it down, they never seem happy with me. <laughs> like I've just messed up all of their hard work. In the summer when it's really warm, they make themselves a little hole in the wood chips and spread out their wings, almost as if they're sunbathing. It's really nice.
doing to each other. Also, when I go to clean them out, my dog Boo, the little one, she comes with me and uh, she comes inside and she never, um, she's never threatening towards them. She likes them, she really enjoys their company, but she copies their behaviour and when they're pecking on the ground, she does the same. She's so funny. And then she walks after them, hoping that they're going to drop something so that she can eat it, and that's disgusting. But she's like that. <laughs> She'll eat anything. And she's very nosy, so she's always trying to help me when I'm in there. Let's see if there's any food for her. the road from me, there is a little footpath, and um, I take the dogs down there sometimes, because I'm in the countryside, there are public footpaths everywhere, through woods and through fields, and uh, I take them down this footpath, which is across the road, and when you get to the end of it, there is a little woods. It's a small area full of trees and bracken. And this time of year, when you go down there, if you look into the woods, there are bluebells. I thought that this year I will take a picture just before they go, because they don't last very long, do they, bluebells? I'll take a picture of them and uh, post it on my Instagram and Facebook and Twitter to show everyone because it's so beautiful. like for me.
panic since he stopped and now it's half past three so chick 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 it lay a little leg me Sweet dreams. And tomorrow, wake up fresh and smiling. And make tomorrow the best day.